So this interceptor is really important to the Dominican Republic. Not only because it's going to be cleaning plastic from Rio Sama, but hopefully gives a lot of light and inspiration to everybody else, even the kids in La Cienega when they see it. Hopefully they get inspired by it and throw less plastic in the river. We're in Santo Domingo and the system will be offloaded in a bit so I'm uh, stoked, it's fun. We've been working towards this for a long time now and it's uh, really nice to be here present today to actually see the system arriving, being it offloaded uh, from the vessel over there to the beautiful Armada base over there. Uh, palm trees, it's nice weather, everybody's happy about it and all our partners over here are really motivated to get the project started so um, it's going to be fun today. It's always nice to see things come out of a vessel after 20 days of it being in the vessel. In the last month we started up collaborating together with the Armada, which is the Navy from the Dominican Republic. This is a nice moment because we're finally able to show them the system for real as well, in real life. Uh, they see what they will be working on for the first time as well. Uh, we also now have a local project management officer over here, and that's Eric. Uh, I'm very happy that he's on board to help us guide everything here locally and to make sure that everything will run smoothly. Uh, we'll start handing over as much information as possible in the next days to make sure that he can uh, guide the Yamada. Oh, it's looking great. Fantastic. Loving it. To be honest, the thing that's inspired me the most is the worldwide problem, the plastic problem. I know that this is historic, so for me it's amazing to be a part of this. It's uh, really motivating to see how much enthusiasm and uh, motivation there is around here uh, from all the people involved and even from people who are not involved. If you walk around the streets and uh, if you hear uh, people talking then uh, you mention you're from the ocean cleanup, they immediately know what's going on, they immediately know where we're going to be. Uh, so from a governmental level to a very local level everybody is aware of what's going on around here. And I'm more than happy to hand over this system towards uh, the Dominicans over here to make sure that uh, they actually can start cleaning up the Rio Zama. In this upcoming month we have a lot of work, preparation, we're going to install everything, test. Oh, we're just giving a little training, showing you guys everything about the interceptor. They understood everything, they, they are liking it, they seem excited, it's going well. Can't complain. The technology that we're implementing here is amazing, and uh, I just want to get this thing going. I'm really excited. I'm, I'm really pumped. grande, la Right now we're in La Cienega. Right here is where the interceptor will be at. We have a military base here, Navy. This is special, this is really special for us Dominicans to clean up this river, it's, it's, really, it's really good. I hope that when all these kids in La Cienega, when they see the interceptor parked in front of them, I hope it gives them some inspiration to do the same and to clean this river up. Uh, one pile will be here, 
for the for an anchor and the other pile will be there. The other one will be around here. Well around here. More or less here. So it will go like this and the barrier will start right behind this cañada here. These are cañadas, uh, drainage basically, and whenever it rains, all the plastic flows down through here. Our barrier will start here, so right behind the cañada, so it will capture all the plastic that leaves from these two cañadas at least. Hopefully this educates a lot of people. They want, what is it? That, what is that machine? Maybe that's how they will react. And then they learn about it, and then they learn about the problem. Because they, they don't even know it's a problem, probably. This is for everybody, for all the Dominicans. So those of you who have been behind your computer this afternoon have seen that I've just sent out an update on the coronavirus <coughs> situation. People are saying that this may be around for another eight weeks or so, so this is not something that's only going to last for a week and we don't know if we need to uh, adjust our measures even more. In fact, with IT we are really looking at, an, uh, at, at what is necessary if at some case the instruction comes that we can't come to the office at all and everybody has to work from home, so we are trying to prepare for that scenario as well. We have here, right here, we were going to start putting in the piles today and uh, unfortunately it's not going to happen due to the corona. People are not supplying cement and materials. Uh, everything is shut down commercially for 15 days. Right now we are at a hold due to the corona. It's a bummer because we had a lot of drive and a lot of momentum to get this project going. But it is what it is. It's out of our hands. There's nothing we can do. And it's reality. We have to we cannot fight against corona. from everyone is, is how are you and also work-wise uh, what have you made progress with this week anything that was fun anything you were able to finish anything you succeeded so just around the table see how you are doing so my girlfriend uh, she's in the front line of the healthcare system she's really doing uh, corona stuff so I still have the, the, the six kids uh, homeschooling here from all the uh, doctors I know who are really busy on the front line of COVID um starting to get into the routine of working at home. I find it still quite challenging to work from home. I already expected it to be challenging, but it was maybe even more uh, challenging than I expected. Uh, well, around here is a good day, bad days, working out days, eating the whole day days. Uh, burning some cakes at home, trying to cook more. I'm doing a lot of baking bread, but now I'm, I'm, I'm okay with the working from home for now, but obviously, yeah, missing my colleagues. So my dad offered if I wanted to help him start a bug hotel last week. <sighs> In these crazy times of COVID-19, which is paralyzing the world with a very uncertain outlook, there's something to be conscious of that in these challenging times, we're working on something extremely meaningful that is only becoming more important as we work our way through this crisis. Pass it to you, uh, Eric. Uh, hi, everyone. I really like the daily calls, I must say. They are really nice. But I'm ready for this to be over. Uh, not much else to say. And uh, who else is left? 